Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Rookie Mode, Resident Evil 2 Rookie Mode for the PS1. As uh, your host, this is your host Cardin J823. As always, now I know I said that um I wasn't going to do the rookie mode for a while, but I figured I'd get. I figure I recorded the ending, the finale yesterday for Claire's A side. I figure I'd at least get him get the video in for for Leon getting up to the police station at least so as you can tell we're on disc one so let's load game this is how you start up the B scenario if you've already cleared one memory card one if you're doing rookie mode alongside me you go to arrange data then Leon B scenario the second And I'm gonna cut my mic off for this long, long cutscene. Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. Leon's driving a Jeep. Looks kind of like Leonardo him? DiCaprio in this game. Well, tax ago. So I wonder if that's supposed to be like a rip on Texaco. Now, there's not much to say about uh, the Leon's B scenario. All it basically is is showing what Leon does what throughout Claire's A. Yeah, I understand. All the police in these games are constantly shooting them in the body. Even if they aren't trained to put them down, put criminals down, they should at least have the knowledge of a definite... of a definite kill shot. Because bullet through the brain, more than likely you're either dead or you're never going to move again. Let alone speak. That's the one thing I don't understand about Resident Evil. All the cops, they always aim for the freaking body shots. They never even try to aim for the head. Now, like I said at the beginning of this LP for Claire's side, this is on actually on my PS3, so there will be no save stating. If I die, I gotta start over. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. That's just like a cop to cut somebody off. Hey, did you open the glove box? Nah, no, that sure. cops do that. There's a gun inside. You better take it with you. I think I've only I've only been cut I've been cut off by a cop one time, I think. That's because they was chasing after somebody. 
And if you notice that zombie in the in the back seat looks like look has the, it looks kind of like Leon. You okay? Still in one piece. Oh, it's the dreaded zombified trucker. <coughs> Sorry about that. I usually get my mic cut off in time to cover that up, but I didn't get a chance to this time. Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. They're at the same time, at the same place. You have to survive this extra nightmare to know the true end. Oh, run away. It's a delicatessen. Just easily, if you want to try and hit, at least hit him in the Oh, crap, that one about got me. Mow all hey, that sign says hamburgers. If you play them, play both sides in succession, you can actually get a wider view of J the map that Jill's at. Ah, oh, crap, one got me. First thing you want to do is grab these keys. It's the keys to that cabin. It's a lot harder to dodge in that main street. It's a lot harder to dodge the zombies in the B scenario because it's this the area is tighter. It's more narrow. It's hard to get around them. Um, crap. Uh, okay, in the next episode, we will be continuing on into the police station. This has been CardMJ823, reminding y'all to like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been CardMJ823, signing off. Have a nice day.